What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's me Carl Zellable, creating more infinite magic red content and we are going to be talking about mythics, mythics, yes mythics, um, who you should choose, why and how they're going to help you, how they're going to help you with your account, not every account is different, alright, and this is why this video had to be made, for you to understand why you need to select a certain hero, alright, it's pretty simple stuff, um, now, first things first, Lucifer, a lot of people rave about Lucifer, and rightly so, because he is a big damage dealer. Now, the only reason you would choose Lucifer first is if you don't have very many damage dealers on your team. Uh, say, big single target damage dealers. Um, Mewtwo, that kind of hero. Zia, um, a Bezmok with some exclusives. Um, so, if you don't have those types of heroes... Lucifer is going to help you hugely in that regard. Say you've been blessed with a load of or cursed with a load of support heroes, um, or you know you, you you just don't have any single target damage. Lucifer is going to be that single target damage you need. Um, let's have a little look into Nita. If you've been blessed with Turf, Taff, Walter, uh, Wolsey, those kinds of heroes, Nita is going to help you massively with your poison team. She's going to help you massively with your poison team. Sorry. Um, so that's why we would choose Nita. Lucaea is a bleed hero. But she can do very well on her own with bleeds. Stacking them. Dealing a good amount of damage. Um, and she's arguably on par now with Lucifer. It depends what kind of what kind of hero you want between Lucifer and, and, and Lucaea. Um, do you have the gear with effect it in huge amounts of attack rate? Right? Um, or do you have gear with huge crit rate, crit damage, and attack rate? Uh, that's where we need to consider, would you choose Lucifer or Luke? Um, let's have a look at Ben Austin. Now, Ben Austin is a fantastic hero, okay? He is a fantastic mythic. And if you've got health burn, if you've got Hisonia or Orkmin, if you have Hisonia or Orkmin, you're going to want to choose the likes of Ben Austin. Why? Well, it's pretty simple. Again, Ben Austin will make your uh, your hero pursue another basic attack. And why is Hisonia and Aquaman so good in their basic attack? Well, it's because every basic attack, they trigger health burn with their basic. They hit three targets, um, meaning we're stacking a lot of health burn. Uh, there are other heroes as well that you can use them with. You can use them with some bleed heroes, say Hisaro, Nidrold. Um, Elena, th those kind of heroes that are going to be stacking up damage over times that you want. Um, you could also use it with poison as well, uh, depending on what kind of account that you have. Um, so Ben Austin is very good for that. I think, I think it's, yes, it is the basic. The, the ally with the highest attack pursues and attacks the same target one time. Um, not only that, he does make everyone, um, attack again, right? Is it this one? Cleanses all control effects from all allies and makes them pursue and attack this enemy target one time. Meaning, <laughs> you know, that we, if, if we've got a health burn team, Ben Austin is fantastic for that. Um, Nordak, the, 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 the king of support, the one who will replace Elik, um, just thanks to, say, pure damage immunity, shield. Um, he does, he does a ton of stuff. He does a ton of stuff. He increases the health cap, which means it can benefit your health burn team as well. Um, so Nordak would be, I would say, a second choice for me for health burn. If I was looking at health burn, I would probably go Ben Austin first, Nordak second, Luna. Okay, all right. Some people don't like Luna. I love Luna. My feelings, I love Luna. Oh, she's just so good. She's just so good, okay? If you have an account that has health burns it has direct damage dealers it has it has anything luna is going to benefit that team as a whole okay she's one of the very few resurrectors on the game we have fiona we have uh Garina. um she also buffs attack up too so that means that that can really help your team she also has turn meter increase but when would we choose luna and why would we choose luna if you're close to finishing campaign and you're nearly at your Catherine, Luna and Catherine together is an amazing combination. We have a huge shield, we have counter attack, we have big heals, we have a uh, turn meter increase, we also have attack down debuff from her basic. Um, you know, we have stealth as well. And Luna can really help your team uh, progress. But if you don't have, if you don't have the damage dealers, 
then she isn't going to be the best choice. If you don't have a pure big damage dealer, you're probably going to want to choose Lucifer or Lucaea. Um, if you have a health burning team, you're probably going to want to choose Ben Austin. So take that into consideration as well. But if you, I would say if you have only one health burner, then take Ben Austin. If you have, say, uh, Malia and Hazonia or Hazonia and Ockman, or, or, you know, you have a full poison team or a full bleed team, don't forget Luna's granting you attack up as well, which is going to increase the damage of bleed and poison. That's another very good uh, fact there to, to add. She's going to be increasing your damage as well as increasing survivability, increasing turn meter, meaning there's more turns to come. Uh, resurrection, so if anyone does die, we have that survival there. Um, you know, I cleared Marius 30 with the likes of Luna. I probably would have been able to do it with uh, Ben Austin as well, to be fair. Nordak, I'm unsure. I mean, the damage immunity would have been nice, but for auto, I don't know. It could have been tricky. Um, so there's that as well. If I was to take Ben Austin, I could probably set up an auto Marius 30 team. But it may consist of Luna still as well. Uh, we'll see. But she is very good in all aspects of the game. In all aspects of the game. PvP. Debatable. High effect resistance. Fast Luna. Meaning she can resist some effects. She can cleanse your whole team. Meaning that they will all go. Uh, so that's nice. But Ben Austin in PvP is very, very strong. Um, he can re reset all the cooldowns of enemies. Um, he can cause you to, to attack a lot in one turn as well. Yeah, so that's very nice. Um, PvP Lucifer is very, very strong. I'm not going to go into the likes of Brynhild, Ulcaster, um, Madalena, and Malkir. Well, Malkir is very strong at E3, but he's not a good choice to begin with, okay? And he's more of a later hero that you would add into your team. Um, but he can nuke seriously hard. So I didn't want to make this video too long, and I hope that's given you some idea of who you would choose depending on what kind of heroes you have. If you don't have damage dealers, you're definitely going to want to choose either Lucifer or Lucaea, depending on what kind of gear you have. Um, if you have full teams of poisoners, Nita's going to really benefit you a lot. If you have health button, uh, Ben Austin can be great for that. He can also benefit bleeders as well. Um, he's a very good, very, very good character in all. Nordak, if you have access to a very good variety of heroes already, Nordak is going to benefit you massively as well uh, survival ways um and damage ways for health burn luna is always a very very good choice unless you don't have damage dealers in which which case she may become a second choice for your mythic um so for now that is it everyone i hope it's given you a little bit of an inkling of who maybe you should choose into your mythic team let me know in your comments below to if you agree on on my outlook on them um, but for now, everyone, I'm Carl Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great day or evening, wherever you are.